Hello, I'm Matt Guff from House.com, and this is a 2019 GNU Hayek Snowboard. This is a, a loose riding all mountain freestyle deck for beginner to advanced level snowboarders who want a deck that's kind of surfy and floaty. It's a true twin board within the contact points, but as you see uh, outside the contact points on the nose, it's going to be just uh, what looks to be just a little bit longer and rounded out, and the tail actually has a little notch in it. But overall, uh, the, the deck has a, a pretty much identical shaping on the nose and tail other than that little notch there. Um, but inside the contact points, the board is a twin board. The stance is centered, side cut radius of eight, about eight meters is centered, and so is the uh, profile shape. And the profile shape is the loosest of all of the profile shapes from Mervin Manufacturing and GNU. It's called BTX, or the original banana profile. It's rocker between the feet, a good amount of rocker that gives this board a good surfy feel. Um, as you see as it lays uh, on flat ground, it kind of teeter totters back and forth. And then underneath each foot to the raised up contact points, there's a slight mild flat camber zone. Um, but for the most part, um, when the board's on an edge, those sections on the nose and the tail are going to help for a little bit of stability, but there is a lot of rocker between the feet. So if you if you like can like slide around, you know, surfing around, uh, the hike's a really fun board. And that's one thing that I kind of came to know about like the BTX profile shape is that you don't really have to think about your riding too much. You just kind of just kind of flows a little bit more naturally with it. And that's why it's great for beginners. And even those advanced level riders that kind of want to you know, step away from you know, like a really aggressive board, uh, the Hyrux is an awesome choice. Uh, the Feel and Flex is about a four, a little bit softer than your average deck. Again, it's easy to ride and it features a G1 style construction. Uh, there's Aspen and Polonia style woods here with a um, with a Biax fiberglass on bottom that gives a nice smooth feel and Triax on top. But the combination of the uh, all the woods and of course the, uh, the glasses uh, gives the board a very strong appeal and of course it's actually pretty poppy for uh, the profile shape that it has. Um, there's a birch internal style sidewall that makes it strong. These things are built in the United States of America. Uh, which, you know, of course the guys that, and girls that make these boards actually do take a lot of time and care when, when they're creating them at the factory. Uh, the base is really low maintenance, and that's perfect for anyone who doesn't just wants to like go ride and throw their board in the garage when they're done. Um, it's really low maintenance. It's tough, of, of course, and, uh, and then of course there's those man attraction edges, serrated knife-like blade edges. There's actually seven serrations down the edge, uh, smaller ones on the nose, and they gradually get bigger as you get to the middle of the board. And uh, actually, what that does is when you're when you're riding, because that rocker section in between the feet, when you tip the board, it creates extra and better contact with the snow right there. Um, it's an easy board to ride. It's easy to initiate turns because of that BTX profile shape. It has a cool look to it. Um, you know, you can ride it this way and this way. It's going to feel the exact same, but you know, it kind of has that fun directional style look to it with that little notched out tail. Uh, this is the GNU Hayek, an awesome little deck that you can check out at thehouse.com by selecting the link below in the description. Uh, leave a comment or a question. Let me know what you think of this thing here. Uh, subscribe to the channel there. Check out more vids over there, and hopefully I'll See you guys on snow. Peace.